When I first decided to get into the custom keyboard scene, I thought that this was going to be a really cool project to try and take on. And I'll be honest guys, it has been pretty cool. I've enjoyed it. But I had absolutely zero clue that the custom keyboard scene is really deep. And when I say deep, I mean the pockets because you need them because it's really expensive. I mean really expensive. Now this is the GMMK Pro and I know that this has been out for a while and has had the crap reviewed out of it by a lot of different people. I know. So what I'm going to be trying to do today is focus more so on my personal experience with building a custom keyboard for the first time whilst just sprinkling in my little bit of review at the same time but more so the focus on my experience. For those of you that don't know, this is the GMMK Pro keyboard from Glorious PC, and this is what is known as a bare bones unit. This is a custom keyboard that requires you to buy all of the switches and the keycaps and whatever else you would like to add to your keyboard. Now I have previously heard and looked to see that there are much more expensive options out there than the GMMK Pro. But I wanna be clear, this still is not cheap. With everything that I went and got with my particular unit, I spent over $600, and that doesn't include the custom cables that I got from Cookie Cables, which I wanna go ahead and give them some recognition because if you do decide to get in this space, I highly recommend checking them out. And they're not sponsoring this video or anything. I, I just was very appreciative of them because I had no clue what I was doing, and they were awesome in trying to help me find the right color combination and getting exactly what I wanted for my particular unit and color scheme. So highly recommend checking them out. Amazing customer service. Now I'll admit, I didn't watch too many videos on how to actually put this thing together because I like to make things harder than they need to be. I don't know why. I wanted to figure it out myself because for some reason I like that kind of punishment. I decided I was just gonna jump right in and start trying to take apart the keyboard and get ready for lubing and changing out the switch plate. I can tell you guys with complete and utter confidence that I have no idea what I'm doing. None. I'm completely winging it. Like, you see, you see what's going on here? I, I thought I got with their lube brush, but I didn't, I guess. So I had to get one of my kids' paint brushes. We're winging it. I mean, we got this lube station. We're gonna see if that helps this process any, but guys, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. We'll get through it though. I know, I, I do believe that. And I wanna be totally transparent here. I had absolutely no clue what I was doing with that lube, and I probably had no business using it. So after a while of thinking I had it all figured out, I started to place the switches into the board itself and began to do my layout for my colors on my keyboard. Now with my specific color scheme, I ended up needing two different sets of PBT keycaps to get the color combination I was looking for, which you see here, the nebula and the ocean. These go for about 50 bucks a box and they come with 114 keys if you happen to need a bigger keyboard or have a bigger keyboard than the 75% here. I was sailing along plugging in my switches and my keycaps and after I had this thing completed, or at least I thought I did, I was very surprised by the heft of this keyboard. It's a pretty big boy and you can definitely tell it's a quality design. After getting the keyboard all put together, I was pretty amped to actually get to use the thing, but I definitely had more work to do on it because I didn't do any sort of lube for my switches and my switches were not factory lube, so I had more work to do. But before we get to my experience with pulling switches and lubing switches. Um, let's do a sound test of the non lube keyboard.
Even without the lube on the keyboard, it still felt pretty dang premium to me. But if there was anything that I had learned from watching Random Frank P and his video on this thing, it was that having your keys on switches all lubed up takes it to a new level, so I had to try it out. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and give it our best attempt at going ahead and lubing up these keys. I still don't know what I'm doing, just kind of winging it still, but um, so unlike last time, I got some actual lube brushes and I do have the little keycap puller and switch puller here. Uh, so we got their little station. I'm going to try to lube these things up and I don't know, hopefully not lose these keys. Kind of seems like an annoying bit to do, but um, we're going to give it our best shot, lube these things up. So we'll see how that goes. Gloria sells plenty of different accessories with this keyboard, but if you happen to be a first time builder, I definitely recommend that you pick up at least the switch opener and the switch station. I stabbed myself so many times and I bruised my thumb trying to lube every single switch on my keyboard because, you know, I just had to figure it all out by myself. Just a little battle scar from trying to get this switch back together. This was definitely the most time consuming part of the entire build, but even though my thumb was bloody and bruised, I got better at it as time went on. Now with my fully lubed keyboard ready to go, I thought to myself, I can do this. I can build keyboards for people. If you need a keyboard built, hit Tech 5 up. I got you. That was a short lived thought. Don't hit me up about building them. Don't do it. I can answer questions, but don't ask me to build your keyboard. Unless you're paying me then I might do it, depending on the amount. Just forget all that. How about a sound test? Not only did I pick up the GMMK Pro, but I picked up the Modelo mouse, their wrist rest, and their XXL mouse pad. And I gotta say guys, all of these products feel really premium. And for spending $600, over $600, I'm happy to report I'm actually satisfied with my purchase. It's, it wasn't cheap, but from a consumer standpoint, being satisfied with what you buy, you know, I feel like that's what, the best you could ask for. That's the best scenario you could get, which I'm happy. The keyboard does come with addressable RGB using the Glorious Core software, and it is able to set different bindings and even remapping of your mouse and keyboard. It's not the most brilliant software, but it gets the job done. I'm absolutely loving this keyboard. It gives typing a different feel to it that I honestly didn't know that I would enjoy so much. And gaming on this thing, comfortable. It's a completely different feel, guys. I've enjoyed this keyboard very much. Before I let you guys go, I'm gonna hit you with a montage of my setup here. If you got any sort of value out of this video, please consider hitting that like. It's an absolute free way to help support the channel, and I'd appreciate it. That's gonna do it for the video. Remember, it's a vibe, a tech vibe, specifically. We'll see you.